I might be a little biased, but I, I love Regent's Park Open Air and I always tell people to come and watch theatre here because it's so unique. It's really magical. It is in fact a gift from the gods to be working at Regent's Park Open Air Theatre. It's really beautiful and this is a play about love and forgiveness and nature. Um, and we've got all of those things in this park. I'm not sure about the forgiveness bit, but love and nature, we have lots of that in this park. So it's really magical, it's a magical backdrop. Again, I'm going to sound super biased because I think our show in particular, Once on this Island, really works in this space because, well, it's outside for once, most of it, <laughs> and on an island, so that's really, really that's helpful. Um, but also, it, it's so much uh, about being in touch with nature and the beauty of nature, so it's nice to like be in the thick of it. Um, and it's lovely to have a little picnic and right before you go to the theatre, why not? Why not? I'm hoping that we are going to bring the tropics to, to London. <laughs> <laughs> So the story of Once on this Island is really the story of Timoon, um, who is an orphan saved from disaster and sent on a magical journey where she discovers herself and challenges death to see if love can conquer death. So um, what's really unusual about this musical is it's a musical that explores colonialism via colorism. And so this island that the story is set on, Haiti, is divided by a caste system where lighter skinned black people are separated from darker skinned black people. And to Moon falls in love with Daniel, who's a lighter skinned um, black person or a mixed race person. And that love is deemed forbidden. Um, and, we, and we learn about how they might try and break that taboo in this story. Comparisons with um, The Little Mermaid and Once on this Island are very, very fair. The Little Mermaid, I can see glimpses of it. Timoon's temperament is very much like the original telling of The Little Mermaid. She has a lot of autonomy. Um, she, you know, really sees the importance of love and hope and faith. And um, it's her driving force in our story and in the original telling of Little Mermaid. But I'd say um, don't come expecting to see The Little Mermaid. When you're watching this show, you might you might be surprised about how different it is. I think Aaron's and Flaherty have written so many incredible shows and I think Once on this Island is one that maybe doesn't always get its due. I mean, Anastasia, you know, has just finished on Broadway and Ragtime is one that gets brought up all the time. Um, uh, I actually have a really soft spot for The Glorious Ones, which is a, a show that they did that I don't know if it's ever been done over here, but it's a really lovely show. But I think Once on this Island is something that is so kind of unique to musical theatre. There's mm -hmm. not really a show that sounds like this. It has, you know, beautiful sort of Caribbean music influence with musical theatre, with sort of tribal African, like West mm -hmm. African music mixed with kind of uh, French sounds, you know, it's this incredibly unique soundscape and something that celebrates a type of culture that you don't usually see in the musical theatre world. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's really up there for me. I think it's one of their best. You like for. you like this little logo here, don't you? Oh yeah, yeah. not just Everything, anyone. Everything's got to be brand. Oh, don't worry, guys. I've I've got you. Look at that. That's a professional hand. <laughs>
<laughs> there is the Disney version of Once on this Island coming. Yeah, watch this though. Not that. <laughs> I'm Gabby. Lovely. And you're in? I'm the star. Mm, okay. Did you catch that? <laughs> <laughs> no, because I'll get cancelled. <laughs>